Can you not sleep at night because you're wrestling with the question, what's better, pirates or Saturdays? Then you best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner, because this one's for the boys. I'm Mark Ives. I'm Cody Hansen. And I'm Zach Walker. And you're listening to Apples, Apples to, to Orangutans. Welcome, Grace Stewart specifically. It's our producer off camera. Uh, but welcome so you. So loud. Okay. <laughs> How Cody, many times can I just... <laughs> do you really want to be kicked off of this pod after the before the first episode? I mean, come on. <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's strike one. Church two strike system in the oh, tang cave. I'm trying to finish the apple now. <laughs> I shouldn't have committed to it so early. I am, it's locked in. Um, all right, all right. Okay, but welcome to the first episode of Apples to Orangutans, where we are going to compare eight teams, eight of the greatest things or least great things to ever exist in this world, to scientifically through a <laughs> one on one matchup bracket system. Determine what the greatest thing, nay, the top tang is among them. Yeah. And I am joined here today uh, with my lovely co-host, Cody Hansen. That's right. And our somewhat less lovely co-host, Zach Walker. Hello. Somewhat less Thank lovely. Thank you. Did you say your name? I'm the least lovely co-host, Mark Ives. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. What kind of apple you rocking, Cody? These are apple crisp, honey crisp. Apple crisp. Apple crisp, honey crisp. There's no oatmeal <laughs> or grain in it. It's not they a were, They treat. were $8 for 10 of them. So that's a good price. This isn't a meme. Uh, I found out that I uh, am mildly allergic to apples like uh, <laughs> two weeks ago. That's right. You didn't and I'm somewhat offended that you put this here. And that, by the way, is the second strike of the pod. So you're going to have to leave, Cody. And didn't I, you say, didn't you tell me that like you for years just wondered why everybody ate apples because they made your throat all itchy yeah like why would anybody do this and yeah everybody's I, throat was I getting itchy. didn't understand why people loved apples so much because it wasn't a taste thing it was like all of our throats are scratchy <laughs> so why are we still eating? everybody can't breathe normally why does everybody eat these things yeah yeah so i have a question if we okay so if there's something on this list that ends up getting compared and i don't know what it is am i allowed to google search it or do i have to make a decision no you, we on can what's google better search. based on we, my current we can, knowledge. we can probably yeah we okay. can search i hope okay. there's not a lot on here that screen. are like <laughs> indecipherable well we'll yeah. see because then it'll just be us listening I, to ourselves i uh i mainly put um uh, diseases from the 17th century yeah. on the list. Yeah. So, uh, for context, was... for context, we all came up with 30 items that could randomly be selected or random things that could be put into this bracket to be compared on. So we have 95 things and we're going to pull eight from them yeah. using an, a random number generator. Yeah. They have nothing to do with one another. Uh, if they do, it's just by chance and we're just going to run an 18 bracket and eight of the random things are going to be in it. I hope seven of time. seven of them are mine. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, I just want, uh, just going forward, just so we all, you know, uh, are, know what each other are thinking. I, I kind of want this podcast to be about me. <laughs> <laughs> so if we could sort of just center this on me and my things this, in the bracket, that would be The pod's really all about incredible. transparency, so and Mark, so I really appreciate we that. Yeah, we start with you. eight, and we need to get down to one. Yes. And so it's a two, two to three... Majority is what decides what moves on. Is yes. that correct? Okay. Yes, three. it needs two votes. Two votes. As there are three of us. Or it could and, have three votes. Yeah, and ties are broken by uh, Grace. Yeah. In, right. In our three person yes. voting system. And if we go for too long, Grace is supposed to reel us in. Yeah. To to yes. make us move on to our other limit, matchups. Our limit for every matchup is uh, forty five minutes. <laughs> so. She she has a uh, airsoft gun off screen. Yeah. <laughs> this will be a three hour podcast. Yeah. Get ready. Well, let's get started. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Is it? Oh, Grace, we, need need shmuel we need C from fast Boy cards. In the striped pajamas. I do not think she means shmuel. From <laughs> and is that a character from Boy yeah, in the Striped Pajamas? Yeah. What He's the it? Jewish boy. His from name is Shmuel. Yes. I'm going to take another Shmuel. bite of this. Shmuel, Shmuel. 
I don't remember his name. It was that's such a juicy bite. Oh, we should start every episode with me taking a bite. Yeah, of that's really yeah, it's, it's a sure. good bit. I do like it. We should start every episode with me taking a bite. Of <laughs> good, good. I like that exactly. idea. Hear me out. Hear me out. If I do it instead, <laughs> yeah. what if I'm the one that gets the attention? Like yeah. I like what you said, right? But I want me to get the credit. <laughs> yeah, I get the credit, and then Zach hits me with an EpiPen after I, I go down. <laughs> This should that should all stay on. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. The last thing we ended on was, "Shall we begin?" So yeah, I'll transition into. Was that all started. recorded? The yes. little bit we did, because yeah. that should go in. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, yeah. I'm serious. Oh, okay. Yes. Look, Grace, off screen. Because it's funny. All right. Yeah. I'm. I'm about it. We're all learning. Hey, we're all learning to podcast together. Yeah. This, so this is doubles. Our podcast doubles, by the way, as a podcasting tutorial. Yeah, video for, for you everyone. Watching. This yeah. is in, supposed to be instructional. We're really yeah. Um, Mark and I did do a podcast a couple years ago together Are you w- with one mic in, in the middle and they were terrible. Yeah, we, we never recorded, released anything. We recorded like uh, four, four, like 20 minutes. Six. Sessions. Uh, six. Yeah, I still have them. Yeah. And I remember it was actually called apples to orangutans <laughs> yes. and you, you compared random things <laughs> in an eight team bracket. Yeah. And you're definitely the most qualified podcaster of us. Of the oh, group. I've done a few. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out the Bethel Clarion <laughs> podcast network. Go check it out. They, I like whenever I am in Bethel. Plus is the number of episodes I've done. That's amazing. Cody, That's an achievement. No big deal. <laughs> it's fifty plus. I like seeing. And the I was studio. the main host of all of them. <laughs> okay, Zach's really uh, reaching so. for the top tank title. <laughs> I'm kidding. I get the top tank. It's already decided. Oh, and I don't know if we prefaced this before, but the thing that wins is considered the top tang. Yeah. The thing that loses. Is the apple gobbler? It's the apple gobbler. It's the yeah. apple gobbler. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I had the that apple. right. Because oh, it's yeah. it, it's it, greedy, it's distasteful, it's somewhat tacky, and it's gobbling It's apples, gobbling them up. Speak. Yeah. It's gobbling them up. All right. I'll generate the first one of our list to 195. And on this random number generator, I got 74. And on the list of things, the first thing is France. Okay. So, yeah. Great country. The entire country. Great country. And that was, Mark, you picked that? Uh, I, I wrote that in. You yeah. wrote that in. Oh, All sure. right, next one. There's no subjectivity. Should I put the thing that we're going to compare right after it? Yeah. Or should Okay. Sure. So right, right away, we'll see what we're going to compare to France. What's France going up against? Wow. 75. <laughs> 75. 75. Well, you know I programmed it so it would get all my things because <laughs> yeah. it's a podcast. About Your me. friend explaining the rules of a complicated board game. Yep. All right. That's a fair first matchup. Okay. Should I continue to select the other six or do we want to talk about this i should select the other six first right or should we just jump right into i'm cool with want to just jump into this one yeah let's jump into this one so the to to clarify it is figuring out what the best thing is out of france versus your friend explaining the rules to a complicated (laughs) Complicated board board game game. yeah okay let's get into it Yeah. yeah is the okay have so, you had somebody who's explained a complicated board game to you in the past? Yeah, he's uh, sitting across from me. <laughs> and at I'm the, at good this at it. I'm yeah. notoriously good at it. <laughs> what game, can you think of a game specifically that's complicated to explain to somebody? Um, what's the game with the freaking river? And the uh, Carcassonne? Uh, yes, Carcassonne. Yeah, yeah. Carcassonne, great Euro style game. It's about worker placement game. You build the map as you go. Very fun. Yeah, I recommend so it to everyone. Everyone at home is asleep right now. <laughs> they, this it. is just a taste. They love we it. didn't even get into the rules. They love it. This, I feel like the quality of friends compa- uh, explaining a board game to you, it completely hinges on if that friend is good at explaining it. Yeah. And yeah i mean it's 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 who you are too because some people like won't if if i'm explaining uno to them they're out you know (laughs) they're out if if there's one rule and it's not we're playing heads up seven up they're out and there's people out there that are like that and uh coincidentally because we have sort of two contingent scenarios here right so so your friend explaining a complicated board game it's contingent on how good your friend is at explaining it uh, France is a country uh, contingent upon whether or not you're lactose intolerant, because uh, the the only good thing there is uh, cheese. They have great cheese. The old that's a big statement. Yeah. I haven't had a ton in France, but you think the only good, the only period, the only good thing there is cheese. Like not even the only good food. But have you only, been to France? Have either of you been to France? Item? I have. Yeah. You, 
for so a, I'm the only one here that has not been to France. Of dates, yeah. yeah, honestly, I, so wasn't that a requirement to be on this <laughs> podcast? Yeah, what, Grace, you've been to France, right? Um, Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I spent three weeks in France. Holy so, crap! Yeah. I only spent three, two to three. The only days. Only good thing I found there, cheese. That's a lie. The Eiffel Tower's pretty good. It's pretty tall. I've had maybe two friends explain to me a complicated board game, and both times I kind of loved playing without having any idea of what I'm doing. Yeah. So, so you didn't think the explanation was necessary. Right. You're a bit of a kinetic learner. <laughs> is, <laughs> one could say. Is France necessary? How do you mean? I mean, <laughs> like, if like France going? disappeared... <laughs> I wouldn't. A lot I would, of, to be honest, change. what has France ever done for us? <laughs> Let's be ever. Honest. Yeah. Ever. I can't think of one thing um, regarding France that is appealing to me. I feel like there's a <laughs> one thing. <laughs> I mean, geography was my worst class in high school. They, um, you know, they made the movie Into Chables, which became that um, Kevin Hart, uh, Brian Cranston <laughs> that film. That absolute cultural hit. Uh, yeah. The Brian Cranston The one. Brian Cranston, Kevin Hart film that yeah. they remade in America. Yeah, um, that one was so way yeah, better. Yeah, way better, because <laughs> there's a language I spoke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like, I mean, whenever somebody's explaining to me a complicated board game, I'm in, I'm into it. I'm fine with it. I'm not going to complain about it. I love playing board mm. games, but I'm never out here being like, this is the best part of the experience. <laughs> this is That's awesome. True. But I do remember going to France. I only went to Paris, so I didn't go to like the countryside, which I assume is better. I'll say that I'm a bit of a rural guy. I like yeah. I like the countryside. There's Baldwin, more Wisconsin. There's more animals there. There's more space there. Paris was pretty cool. Uh, there was a river. There I, was some I cool did prefer things. the countryside. I bet. France. I had better experiences. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Over Paris. Mm-hmm. I mean, Paris was fun. It's very, um, it's like the most touristy stop in our trip. Cause there's like eight different monuments in Paris. It's like just chock full with stuff. Yeah. Um, but the countryside's beautiful. So yeah. it's almost as beautiful as the countryside in Wisconsin. But not, not quite near it. Yeah. And the cheese in Wisconsin is better too. It's oh. true. I, I think the world would be better if France <laughs> was disappeared just and well, then Wisconsin was teleported into Europe in that exact place. Couldn't can't Wisconsin just buy France? <laughs> I think so. Time is money, that's what I always say. Right? Guys? So Come on. with that in mind. Come on. I'm voting against France. Why? Wait, you're vote, you're voting for a friend explaining <laughs> a complicated board You game? haven't said I've a never merit. been to France. I've never Your been to one fr- comment <laughs> was, I don't like going into board I've experienced games knowing one or the other. I've experienced How is this good? <laughs> I've experienced, you know, one. I haven't experienced France. I've what, experienced having a have board game explained to me. you good things about a friend experience? I mean, it's like I fine. I think it's fun. It's a net neutral. You know, it's so if someone's explaining their board game to you, it's because they like it. You know, they're passionate so you, about the game. Okay, you enjoy their passion. And I've been in the shoes of being the friend having to explain Catan to all my other friends. And I don't think Catan is that complicated. It's not. But in other people's minds, it's a very challenging it's true. game. They cry about it every you time. Know? Yes. You know. So I wish that there was just more appreciation on their part when I was going through, exactly. you know, the explaining of it all. So you're here voting for this. <laughs> Because like you're standing Thunder. with all of the people <laughs> who are, I've been who there, are man. explaining board games and yeah, crying people, because their friends don't like them. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people okay. listening that also could be. I can't, I can't give that like <laughs> one experience <laughs> merit over the entire country of France that That's I had fine. a pretty positive experience you know, going of, to. Of the comparisons, and I think it's we'll an have entire country with <laughs> culture and people and food and history, and I don't really have anything against it. Here's what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm going to vote for France because I love America and they gave us the Statue of Liberty. They did. <laughs> so because they I did. love America, I'm voting for we France. We can call this a vote France for the Statue on. of Liberty. Just yeah, right. that change it. it, change it. France moves on despite Sta- Cody's, Statue of Liberty Cody's moves efforts on. to the next round. All right. Next one. Generate. 81. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're dipping Late? into Mark's yeah. again. Rigged it. Man. Pirates. Pirates. Ooh, yeah. Rupert from Survivor is a pirate. He is. I generated it again How? and I got it. What are you doing? doing? Okay. Is this. If it's I do it again. pranked. If I'm hitting it a lot and I just got okay. 80 a bunch in a row. All right. We'll so go with it. So it's four of Mark's <laughs> to start. Pirates versus Saturdays. <laughs> All right. Saturdays or for pirates? <laughs> this one's actually pirates. kind of harder than the last. 
Saturdays Why is that? versus Pirates. Because when I think of Pirates, I think of my boy Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I don't have like, and I love the Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you feel a, a, a personal affinity to Jack Sparrow? Uh, <laughs> I guess you could say that. Arrowhead. Um, you shout don't out know to all how my Sparrowheads out you there. You did. You came in to record today. Um. <laughs> With a uh, in full Jack Sparrow <laughs> cosplay, and we we demanded you take it off, and you cried for thirty yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, you kept saying, "A hey, matey, it's time to record." A hey, matey, it's time to record. We had to like really give you a talking to for you to not do it. Yeah, and I'm surprised that you. All I'm saying is Johnny Depp did a great job, and I think that he did it, do it. And great also, job. okay, I'm gonna reel us back into the pirates concept. They're they're a baseball. We haven't team. left <laughs> the pirates concept. <laughs> Not wearing a pirate ah, costume. Just, I'm gonna reel us back into where we've been this whole time. The They're baseball. a baseball team, also. It's true. If you know that. So when are you, they a successful base team? Uh, I don't follow baseball. At all. I don't think so. Are we thinking, it, Mark? When you wrote this, was this pirates as in? Um, yeah. What's the context? Arg. I, I was the thinking arg. Just pirates. Uh, but I feel. But like I guess it can. We have to follow the prompt to the letter of the law. Yeah. And so I, I feel like just this pirates. pirates could be Anything. the baseball team. When, it could be Survivor Season 7. Uh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of options. When I think of pirates, I think of a Halloween costume mm. and mm. a child but, dressed up as a pirate and how mm. I want to dress up as a pirate. Oh, and I still want to every Halloween. You can have my yeah. costume I wore in earlier. <laughs> yeah. Actually. yeah. Um, um, pirates are also a very bad thing, actually. Like, the meaning of what a pirate is Oh, yeah, is in the is world? Yeah. Thing. No, yeah. they've killed... <laughs> thousands and of people steal yeah. a lot yeah i don't but know if they're cool they are cool what about what do we think goonies about s- has a lot of pirate vibes right the goonies that's a great movie yeah little little rascal kids what is pirates going up against saturdays saturdays which is pretty good that's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> so we spent uh, a lot of time on pirates baby <laughs> yeah um, when you put it like that uh in a way saturday <laughs> is the best uh, part of most people in the Western Hemisphere's life is Saturday. Like they live to not go to work, and <laughs> pirates are like a group of people that had uh, scurvy and yeah. murdered people three hundred years ago. But. Somebody could on their Saturday, on the day that they love, that they love, <laughs> they could be thinking about pirates. They could be watching Survivor season seven. They could be watching a movie about pirates. Could be going to a pirates game. They could be going to a Pittsburgh Pirates game. Um, but is that not just an argument for Saturdays? <laughs> <laughs> that Saturdays give what make way for, <laughs> for pirates. pirates? Yeah. But pirates can be experienced any day of the and week. And I bet if you asked a pirate like what they would prefer, they would be like, honestly, plundering, it's hard work. You know, I live to pop some rum with the boys on Saturday. Pirates don't take days off. They, they do. don't. Do Come they? on. Pirates totally. are freelance. <laughs> I bet pirates have. I bet being a pirate was like 90% free time. Are you kidding me? You're just sailing around the ocean looking I bet they didn't run on a schedule. They probably didn't run on a schedule. They're more freelance. Um, Is Saturday the best day of the week? Um, Yeah. Because I feel like... What's the competition? Friday? That's the only... I'm going to say Sunday? Sunday, I don't think it's Sunday. Sunday's it, Sunday's chill. Sunday's usually like Sunday. the most relaxed, but it's also like you get sort of nervous at the you end. You yeah. can't stay yeah. up late. Growing Sunday, up on you, Sundays, I was worried about yeah, Mondays about being school. tomorrow. You know who else is worried about Mondays? Garfield. Yeah. Is he on this bracket? Uh, he's not. I didn't put him <laughs> on. We replaced pirates with Garfield. Shockingly, he also um, loves lasagna. But we'll, I'm sure we'll get into that later. Is how much I hate Mondays an advocate of how much I love Saturdays? And does that? Ma- I think it is. And I think that makes Saturdays me vote is for the Saturdays. best one. There's yeah. no. There, there's very few worries on Saturdays. You can do. You can do anything as possible. I'm often worried You're about chilling. pirates. And it spawned. I I have crippling anxiety, pirate related anxiety. <laughs> to be fair. Um, and undiagnosed or I, I think there's a reason that the phrase Tuesdays are for the boys didn't take off. <laughs> That's right. Right. I mean, is that fair? Well, can't we start it right here? I do not think we could start it right <laughs> with here. all of our listeners. I, I don't think anyone would say that unironically. Tuesdays are for clubbing. Tuesdays are for the boys. Going is that up? true? Is well, Tuesday do you think people the spend day. a lot of their Catch Tuesdays at the club? The I'm sure people do. Yeah, Some people do. Up. 
You know, that's yeah, good. <laughs> that's good. You sang it for a while. <laughs> um, is Tuesday the worst day of the week? No, no, Taco Tuesdays. Tacos are tacos are, are on Tuesdays and half Taco off Jones. movie Tuesdays. Half off movies yeah. is big. Tuesdays is a uh, big deal. What's the worst think, day of the week? Uh, Mondays. Maybe uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Monday's bad. Monday's bad. Uh, honestly, when I'm in the middle of the week, well, it's a, also my schedule is a little weird because I I do get off of work on Thursday. So Thursday for me is like, oh, it's my last day. Um, sure. So Wednesday is pretty rough. I think we agree that Saturdays. Are I think Saturdays is Saturdays is pretty definitively. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'll generate the next one. Sixty-four. If, this might be. A, it yours? might be my last one. Yes. Do you remember what it was? I don't. Blimps. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> blimps, baby. Blimps. Never been on a blimp. Get hyped. All right. There's like. I'll save it. <laughs> Thirty-seven is the blimps next one. Blimps versus. What are we doing? Um, Come on. Give it to us. Pancheros. Pancheros. Is the, that right? The yeah. regional burrito chain. Is it regional? <laughs> can you look that up? Sure. I can look it up. Blimps. I want to say I heard a fact once that there's like 12 blimps still in the world. In the world? Like that's it. I have a hard time believing. It seems like not a lot of blimps. There's not. There's definitely not a lot. It might be less. Can we look this up? What? I can. I How just many blimps are there in the world? I guess I have never seen a blimp. No, they. I mean, they like don't sporting events. They don't do it. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. I, I imagine them being common, but now that I think about it, I've never seen. No, them. I right, want to so say there's, there's like twelve states that have a panchero, a pancheros in their state. There's oh, is that okay. equal to the number of blimps? <laughs> blimps yeah, twelve. Guess how many restaurants they have? How many pancheros are there in, yes. in the world? Yep. Uh, um, Less than you'd think. 700. 69. Holy Got em. crap. Yeah, I really <laughs> went for it. <laughs> they, uh, they're they pretty local, I'd say. Okay, how yeah. many in Min- how many in Minnesota? All right, well. Okay. <laughs> is that to... integral to figuring out? Uh, <laughs> it might be. This is going to be... Uh, I'm that's still, a this Google is, I feel like this is a battle many, of scarcity. How many blimps? <laughs> yeah, we do need to know the blimp <laughs> fact. <laughs> Hold on. I'm look still up, on the Pancheros website. Can you look up blimps fast? We cannot spend... Multiple minutes researching how many blimps. Well, there yes, are you can in make an argument. We need in Minnesota. To. No, not in Minnesota. I'm yeah. talking Pancheros in Minnesota. Yeah. How many not, blimps are there? In just Minnesota? look up how many <laughs> blimps are there in the world. <laughs> uh, look it up. It's a, yeah, are there in 2021? Uh, 25 blimps. Okay, 25 in the Wait whole a world. Minute. That's way less than I thought. Yeah, it would be. yeah. It's not a lot. It's not half a lot. of which are actively used for advertising purposes. By Goodyear, I bet more people work for. Uh, wow. blimps than people work inside Pangeros. Whoa, that's a bold statement. Wait, doing Cause you, what? Because I would imagine <laughs> they work for main, b- main big blimp. I, I imagine maintaining a blimp, piloting a blimp, uh, serving <laughs> on a blimp. What's I, a good name. <laughs> I, I, requ- I imagine a blimp has a crew that is at least three times larger than a Panchero staff. Get this. I'm sorry. I was blown away. $100,000 for one trip on, on a, blimp. a blimp. Yeah. Because wow. of helium usage. What a way to uh, throw away $100,000. <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> I how would, much does it cost to go to Mars? <laughs> if, you had, if you had a billion dollars, <laughs> yes. how many blimp rides would you take? One. Exactly one. <laughs> one blimp I a imagine, day, at least. I right? imagine it's a lot like... Uh, being in an office building <laughs> or being in like a hotel. I can't imagine they go fast. No. Or like you're just kind of gliding there. I feel like it's a it's a hot air balloon, but you're inside. It's a slow moving plane. Yeah. I think it's and you every, could hit it's a tree in it. Plane could probably pop. but less fun. I mean, I guess I don't really know what the inside it is. It has like. a great it has a great name. Blimp. Blimp, yeah. Blimp is great. If anybody talks about a blimp. Look, you could have a long conversation Look about at the it. Look inside. Because there's 20. Beautiful. Yeah, Cody's into blimps. There's that wow. epic scene <laughs> in um, in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade okay. where his dad. Your favorite Indiana my Jones. My favorite Indiana Jones. Um, I watched it again, and it's like fine. Yeah. It's pretty much just like an hour and 45 minutes of them running away from Nazis. Yeah. And then the mo- one of the most epic last like sequences in movie history yeah. when they go into the cave. So awesome. And has great relationship dynamics between Indiana and his dad, but there's that great <laughs> blimp scene. So I, that's, that's a point for blimps. Yeah. What, what is blimps facing? Pancheros. Pancheros. 
Oh, wait, Chipotle is better. Yeah, I think so too. I also but never planes are better than blimps. I don't. But are I mean, I think planes are more useful. I don't think pla- I, I think blimps are cooler, way uh, cooler. But are they cool if you have to spend a hundred thousand dollars? I don't have it? to do it. I, I can just think about a blimp. If I think about a plane, nothing happens in my brain. Rhyme master, <laughs> like nothing. A plane is so is so boring and normal. Yeah, it's and utilitarian. Blimp, if you look at this this photograph, of it the depresses of a blimp, you. You have, <laughs> there's, like, there's four fun. elephants that can sit on just this section of the top four elephants and, and look at these houses how many They're elephants could you there. fit inside of a panchero <laughs> zero they couldn't zero. get through the yeah. door so i think that immediately um puts I, a vote for me onto blimps i would say panjeros um has made my life better by giving me a burrito um and blimps i don't think has made anyone's life better because if anything it's just drained people of a hundred thousand dollars to indiana jones and the last crusade wouldn't be the movie it was without a blimp i have a feeling it would (laughs) it would not (laughs) imagine that have that scene happening in any other form of transportation a plane no, <laughs> wrong. They couldn't have spoken in a blimp. No, they couldn't. It would be way too loud, and they would sm- have to be belted in. Can you smoke in a blimp? They're probably back in the Indiana Jones days, <laughs> and you should you should still be able to smoke everywhere. Smoke that's, in my, a, that's my that's my option. You smoke and in that's a why Zach's Cheros. voting for blimp. Yeah, can you smoke in a Poncheros? No. no. <laughs> That's why I'm. Poncheros just doesn't do, do much for me. It's good. There's it's only 25 of I, them in the world. Is that what it was? Limps. It? Yes. That's if I have the choice to go to a Chipotle over a Poncheros, I go to the Chipotle. They have fresher ingredients. The, I feel pizza. like you get Papa John's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Papa John's moves on. Papa to the next John's round. moves on. Um, Blimp just does something for me. All right. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm voting, voting Blimp. Also. Okay. And we'll move. Ooh, I'm still you again. Mark gets absolutely sauced uh, again. If you make fun of me one more time, <laughs> I'm going to cry. Blimps moves on. What's we just next? Randomly generated. 69. Well, it's nice. nice. This episode. Very nice. What is All 69? Right. That is finding out when the woman you love is a flat earther. Classic that's scenario. Finding out the woman you love is a flat can, earther. Classic scenario. We've all been there, right, boys? How many right, times have we, we been have. there? Versus um, generate 33. I didn't get a single one. That's all right. I cry about is this it. the last matchup? <laughs> this is the last <laughs> yeah. matchup. Sorry. But we do have to go back through again. All right. Finding out the woman you love is a flat earther versus mittens. Mittens. This is probably the most diverse Mit- this, uh, matchup we've had. I d- <laughs> <laughs> Where do you start? I'll let you guys start on this one. Um, well, like we've said, we've all been there with a woman with telling mit- us oh, that yeah. she's a flat earther. Yeah, we so really what was have. your experience like the first time you've <laughs> dealt well, with that? Well, you know, I, I have a feeling I know what direction this is going to go in. So let me already set up the, the preemptive defense. <laughs> you are defending the flat earth thing. Of course. Do you think it's, do you think it's the better of the <laughs> Well, let's explore. I have an open <laughs> okay. mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the scene. Um, you are living your boring, meaningless existence. Wow. <laughs> Really is this both of us or who is yeah this, this is both of you okay. specifically but everyone really not me i'm saving up country. for my blimp ride baby. Um, <laughs> you're living your boring meaningless existence um the uh american political system has failed you there's no economic mobility uh society is crumbling apart everything's terrible and boring and movies are getting worse by the year and then Until roma <laughs> 2 comes out and then Everything changes when it turns out that the woman you love (laughs) believes that you live inside of a domed disc moving upwards at 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, And all of a sudden, guess what? The world is magical, okay? You are now in a Vince Flynn novel. There's a conspirators hiding the truth from you and you are the only one with the secret information you can discover the ice wall you can fly up to the top of the dome anything's possible your wait, life has meaning you are wait you, in this situation are you just like buying it immediately of course who wouldn't <laughs> okay <laughs> it adds meaning to your life it's great 
If you get to the ice walls without mittens, how are you going to feel, Mark? <laughs> Let me just ask you that. That's what I like to hear. Well, you're wearing gloves, which are superior because they have finger holes. Oh. You're Got them. Destroyed. Do, yeah, do all mittens not have finger yeah, holes? The definition They're defined of a mitten by is, not having It's like holes. a is full a, thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Think of an oven mitt. I I've don't have to explain my entire mittens. life. <laughs> yeah. I've never worn You've a mitt never in my worn a mitt in your entire life. You haven't? But I have seen the ice walls. I guarantee you. A woman mitten. you love has revealed to you no. that she is a flat earther. She, none of that has happened. I, <laughs> if we give it to the flat earth thing, we're giving it to a situation where the world is in such a state of disarray <laughs> that the only joy yeah. that you can, that yeah, you can reality. have is immediately believing a crazy fact that your girlfriend believes. I'm invoking the blimp defense in that the dopamine rush I get from thinking about someone's loved one revealing to them that they're a flat earther, like eight months into their relationship uh, is much more exciting to me than the prospect of mittens. But this is, what is the, what is the thing? Aren't we, isn't this you experiencing it? Your girlfriend telling you that she's and a what are your author. experiences with blimps, it's, sir? The, <laughs> the name was blimp. It's just the blimps as an right, idea. This is, this is an experience. Yeah. This is a verb. Right. Yeah, and imagining that experience is beautiful. But um, doing that experience is objectively bad. Okay, well, okay hold on. Unless, hold on. Yeah. I guess when unless she tells you, you no, it's great. It gives you, it gives your life meaning. It saves what if you. It's, it's your today? salvation. What if it's today? Let me ask the you only this. way awesome. this is good is in a Beautiful. horrible hellish landscape. If she if she asks you, oh, I was describing today. I was describing <laughs> today. Are you expected to respond are to you her <laughs> afterwards? Like, what is your what is your response to that? I mean, when like internally, yeah. internally, my response is this is this is my ticket. This is gonna give me joy what? for the rest of my life. Are you okay? Meaning, <laughs> do we? This like, is do we something. Need to stop the. This plot? is something <laughs> ex- existentially beyond mittens. It does open up a lot of conversations you can what have with that person. What do you mean? No. <laughs> I mean, it does make this a lot is a of new conver- worldview. Can I? This is a new belief system. I want to. I want to posit a situation here. Yeah. Maybe we are in this, if we're talking about this, this hellish landscape yeah. setting, or yeah. even today, and everything is wrong yeah. with the world, everything, but you are dating a lovely woman, and it may, hopefully you're, you're enjoying dating that, that woman, and, and you make a good <laughs> we couple, got really deep. right? We make it. But and maybe that's the only joy that you find your in your life, and you're like, man, we're we're really compatible. Mm. And this is not your girlfriend being a flat earther; it's your girlfriend fi- finding out your girlfriend is yeah. a flat earther. Yes. So then, yeah. that one spark of joy, that one spark of human connection, where you can come Has home been from enhanced. a from a day working sixteen hours in the Amazon <laughs> warehouse because it's the only job that anyone There's has no anymore. There's no windows there either. And you come home and you just want to hang out and watch old seasons of Survivor with your girlfriend, and she drops the bomb on you that she's a flat earther. That does not and enhance now, the experience. And now you have something bigger than watching old seasons of Survivor. You're like, yeah, honey. Let's get a gyroscope, okay? Let let's go let's go charter a plane to Antarctica together to find the ice wall. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Your life has just been enhanced, taken to the next level. I think I agree with Mark. Are you kidding? Uh, me? Hell yeah, I think brother! I agree with How? Mark on this hell one. Yeah. Mittens have never hurt anyone. Nothing about mittens. Mittens is always fascinating to it me. always enhances the situation. You're cold. You put on some mittens. Great. You see a little baby with mittens on. So cute. I like to have my fingers. How be are available. you? You know, mittens, then take the so mittens if, off. <laughs> yeah, take the mittens off and put your flat cap no. on. Okay. This right. is Rally assuming. Flat wait, you're voting for the flat Earth one. <laughs> I, uh, you're voting course. for Mark's voting. meme performance. <laughs> yeah, and you're voting again. Thank okay. you. Insane. I love it. Insane. Thank you. And I also like. I and just think we just scientifically proved that that's better. And I also it think it makes the, the next matchup that much more interesting. And with the show, what we do is we go through the next four. So yeah. we have to Classic argue bracket. the next. Yeah. Two. We're in the final four. So we're in the final four, and t- t- we have France. 
Saturday's yeah. blimps and the woman yeah. you love <laughs> tells you she's a flat earther. I'm excited for <laughs> the three <laughs> ones that could be argued good to get absolutely destroyed. Hey, any <laughs> ru- any rubric you present what? for your yeah, decision making, Zach, is valid. It's true. That's so how the top ten is transition. I think we should go. Should we go back to France and Saturdays, or yeah. should we? Okay, yeah. I think we need a break. Yeah, let's go back to France. Yeah, we and need Saturdays. a cool down. We need but, a cool down. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So when, this is the first time we've moved on to the second phase of arguing things we've already created yeah. some arguments for. Yeah. So is it our objective to create new arguments? For we just these? gotta figure we it just out. Gotta figure it out. Here's the thing: France whatever moves Saturdays. on, whatever moves on is objectively better <laughs> than the thing. <laughs> <you do>. Okay. <laughs> So any arguments you make are valid. We're creating fact. So yes. it's France or Saturdays. Wow. Saturdays are... It's not a hard one for me. Saturdays are really good. It's not a hard one for me. It's a tough one to beat. It is? This, yeah. is, this is the one seed. You Which know? I think yeah. it's... I mean, Saturdays, do you even have to say much? Saturdays actively improve my life every week. Unless I have a bad one, which usually doesn't happen. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't mean, think about France. You play D and D on Saturdays, don't you? I don't. We play Civ on Saturdays. Civ, and what do you do on Saturdays? I play Civ on Saturdays. Okay, yeah. well, Saturdays are good. You're, in, uh, you're not invited, and I'm usually working. Yeah, to be so clear, yeah. So Saturdays, I just, France is France is a good country. Perfect. France is yeah. a good country. I, I mean, it's a fine country. If it was France versus the USA, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it was a USA versus anything. <laughs> I mean, we should have the USA in every bracket, and it is always the winner. Always the top ten. Yeah, the USA. Don't um, forget. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday is great. All right. I um, think. Yeah. I mean, let's. Uh, my votes for Saturday. I mean, yeah. I would say that probably if you went to France and you conducted a survey there, most of them would probably give it to Saturday over France. All right. Mm. Here's the th- here's the thing: is I don't think the next matchup is as easy as this one was. I think it's tough. Blimps it's versus a tough match. The woman so you love. blimps versus the woman you loved telling you that she's a flat earther is in is a harder matchup oh, than yeah. Saturdays the, versus no, France. Then the flat earther versus mittens because <laughs> mittens was obviously by every measure better. <laughs> yeah, but except blimp, for our measure, I'm gonna have a harder time except for arguing our blimps. Yeah. Well, this one's hard because I voted for blimps and I voted for. The woman you love yeah. is a flat earther. Well, did this you is, vote against blimps? I did vote against blimps, but but it let, is a new matchup. It is a new matchup. It's a new day, and let me tell you this. Um, here's why blimps might might be able to take this one. Uh, <laughs> blimps are the only thing um, that might be able to um, prevent you from um, finding out that the woman you love is a flat earther. And that's makes true. you tell her you're a flat earther because you're up in the blimp, and that's wow. when you see we're living on a disc, right? Because you can't see the curve from up. There. You can't see the curve from up there. <laughs> um, so, and so, also, are you convinced by going into a blimp? Would you also be? Would you also be convinced that the, the Earth is flat? Though? Yeah, and then you would tell the woman you love wow. about the flat Earth. So it it stops the whole scenario. It cancels it out. It makes Erica go back in time. Okay, so you're saying that the only reason that blimps would beat the flat Earth situation is that it, the flat Earth situation wouldn't happen, and yeah. that that's the only way that it's bad <laughs> is if it yes. doesn't happen. <laughs> yes, if it doesn't happen, it's horrible. <laughs> that is my exact if chain of does, thought. And if your wow. girlfriend right if now, if you push it on me anymore, I might just <laughs> change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> if your girlfriend right now. Told you she was a flat earther. Yeah. What What would your response be? My response would be, I've never thought about that before. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> really um, open mind. Really built that up. We need to. You have a notoriously I need to, I need open mind for conspiracy look theories. Look into this. I, I no no what my honest to god response to her would be what. Um, I just got us tickets to a blimp, <laughs> and let's go find out. I just dropped you also hundred k. <laughs> yeah. You also owe me a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What would no? Serious question. What do you guys want to go into blimp ride? Serious question. Um, it would cost a lot. If less. your girlfriend, if your girlfriend told you that she was a flat earther right now, what would bits aside? Okay, what would right, be right, right. And it was very legit that she told yes. me that. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Oh man. I mean, I just like I would be shocked that they would say that. 
you know? So I just, I'd be like, what else is wrong with this person that has terrible beliefs? It's a red flag, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. It's a bad what thing. What would you, like, in the moment, what do you, what I mean, would I would assume say? that they're kidding for at least a year, but if it kept, <laughs> <laughs> but if it kept going after that, <laughs> for at least a year, True. a year of conferences, yeah. credit cards being just maxed <laughs> out yeah, for the high- powered telescopes. Okay, if a, if a high powered telescope was purchased, <laughs> this is a like, good bid. All right, this is a pretty big deal. Yeah, you would say this, this is a good bid, you'd vote for this. One. Oh yeah! So, oh yeah! <laughs> um, blimps! I wish I could go on a blimp. If somebody gave me the opportunity, I would absolutely go on a blimp. Yeah. I and also, it. here's a factor. Uh, here's a factor in my logic. Um, this, um, the woman finding out the woman you love is a flat earther. To me, has a lot of value in that it winning this round would make Zach upset, <laughs> and that makes it really good. Um, but I don't think it would make him. As upset as if I told him I used his credit card to buy him a blimp ride. So that's why I'm voting for the blimp. Because the blimp would make Zach wow. more upset than this going on. Wow. That's the rubric. Wow. That's the rubric for this pod. I think I also vote what? for blimps because I actively want to be in a blimp. I don't want the person I love to tell me that they're a flat earther. But you, so based yeah, on those that two alone, things are just so... But you act much tension for mitten, me. Mittens just couldn't do it. <laughs> it no. just I have nothing with mittens. Just I don't want to put my couldn't. hand in a mitten. You'd rather, rather live, have your girlfriend I'd rather live tell, in a bit tell you that than own a pair of mittens. In, it wouldn't be a bit. <laughs> It would be your girlfriend. Oh, it would be a bit for a year. Yeah. It'd be a bit for a year. <laughs> and then what happens in the year? Uh, after a year. And then they go to the ice wall. Crumbles. I'll be married in less than a year. So, yeah, at that point, I think uh, that would have to be figured I guess out we're before past. the I need to let thing. mittens die. I think you do. Yeah, you do. Well, that blimps blimps move Especially on. because this is, Zach, you got to be prepared. This is going to be a semi-frequent occurrence. Yeah. I mean, All right. At least once a bracket. And I Okay, so I think what we need to do before choosing our top tang between yes. Saturdays and blimps is maybe select the apple goblin. Yeah, I think that's great. Because oh, yeah. because we do have something sitting out there that is just obviously worse than the rest. Yeah, yeah. the flat earth one. That oh, well, that's, that's the that apple goblin. That. that was in can't the final think four. Because it's scientifically better than mittens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're scientifically so there's only two. So, there's, so we can choose between four. So we can choose between oh, true. pirates. Your friend yeah. explaining the rules of a complicated board that game. kind of bad. Poncheros or mittens? The board game one. You do? Do you think um, the board game one? How many uh, yeah. people has your friend explaining a board game killed? Because pirates have probably killed like a, <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, but it's I also given us. <laughs> we didn't give a lot. Up, but, 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 yeah, but. The true. pros. pros. <laughs> Halloween costumes. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yes. Uh, I yeah. mean, the, the yeah. baseball. There's a yeah, lot. Are you gonna, do you hate werewolves? They gave us Halloween costumes, but they kill a lot of people every single day. That's, do you hate that, werewolves? That's true. Mark? That's true. Are you and saying I don't, you, this I is might, a, I, want, I might run for office one day, and I don't want to be caught on camera uh, <laughs> slandering the werewolf demographic for sure. There is swing vote in Pennsylvania. I genuinely think pirates are my. Le- oh God, it might be the pirates Apple are Goblin. bad. The pirates of the Caribbean franchise it's, is great, yeah. though. And, and in a way, that is worth like fifty thousand people dying to the hands of pirates. Uh, you want to know what? I think mittens is the worst thing on here. Don't. Oh, that's <laughs> true, <laughs> though. Because here's the thing: mittens are literally irrelevant because you could be wearing gloves. Mittens affects less than fifty percent of the world for sure, right? Like, it's oh, not totally. in the shopping totally. cart of very you know, many people. Think about it. Yeah. Uh, Freaking Mansa Musa in uh, Mali. You think he's wearing mittens? No, he's not wearing mittens. Everyone has connections okay. to pirates. Everyone does have connections. That's true. Is good food. There's nothing wrong with mittens. And everyone has had there's a friend some, explain to if them you're wearing mittens, a board game. If you're wearing mittens, there's some inconvenience. If you're trying to, like, get on your phone or something. It is it, for all those uh, cost efficient frugal <laughs> listeners out there. You can get a, bat, a pair of mittens that's much warmer for a uh, cheaper price than the pair of gloves that is the same warmth. Wow. Yeah, because you gotta <laughs> you gotta pay top dollar for those gloves that are going to be super warm because mm. the mitt the mitties they Walter Mitty great movie. Yeah, will cover your whole hands. Right. There's not right. there, there's not there's, there's more uh, there's more insulation in there. 
I'm sorry. Uh, are you sponsored by Big Mitten? I am. <laughs> You're a huge Mitten I guy. am. I like... He's actually starting I do, his own I prefer mitten gloves. Company. I prefer gloves. We all do. Wow. I think everyone in the yes. world prefers gloves. <laughs> yeah. These are fun. But what is the fine. easily accessible alternative to pirates? There's no alternative. The pirate. Yeah, pirates. Wow. The mittens are made wow. redundant for by me, gloves. Wow. For me, it's between. Wow. I think I would probably give it to the board game one. Okay. Although sometimes when I'm, I like playing complicated board games, right. and when a friend is explaining, it's kind of fun. I to think like, so too. You're learning. Something yeah, you're actively. learning, and you're right. you're uh, dialoguing with the person. I'm happy we could bring that back because I don't think that that argument yeah. was mentioned originally. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. it's like a fun time. Yeah, so and you're st- learning a new game. But now you're saying you're gonna vote against that. You're learning you're a new the game. Apple no, I think pirates have pirates when they were a thing. Mm. They st- I guess they still anymore. are. Guys, I think it's about time we canceled pirates. <laughs> pirates can we cancel? Here. Hashtag cancel pirates. Pirates Please. kill people, and they it's and pirates. Right, by the right. way, they have brought a lot of good <laughs> for their media, and this they have con- contributed a lot to media. Um, and this is worth noting. There are still pirates today yeah. in mm-hmm. Somalia. So th- that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, and they made still, a movie about that. Yeah. Captain Phillips. That's yeah. right. Captain Phillips. It's a good movie. Um, and then there it is again. They're still contributing to our media, exactly. which means I have to vote for Mittens. <laughs> no. I'm it's also the only gonna way. vote for Mittens. Wait, Mittens is the apple Why? gobbler. Send it. Can I just hear That's one more little... Can I hear one more argument that isn't it makes me mad that mittens are worse than pirates? Because After it's make, redundant. Mittens, so are redundant? mittens are redundant? Mittens are redundant because gloves exist. And pirates have done more for society as a whole. Than they've mittens. done more for and society. And that cancels Less. out all the people and all <laughs> people they've killed and harm they've done. Yeah. It does. I mean, have you, when's the last time you've seen Dead Man's Chest? When was the last time you I saw Dead Man's Chest? I don't Pirates know. of the Caribbean Years too. ago. Well, watch it again and then get back to me on if you think it was is worth 50,000 people dying. Is that the one with Davy Jones in it? Yeah. And then it is worth it. Yeah, it is. Cool and, the, squid and when they're on the wheel, the spinning wheel, and the three people are fighting. Yeah. Min's is the apple. Okay. Gobbler. Yeah. All right. Wild. I love that. <laughs> I think that's a good selection. Um, I also voted for Pirates, so, and I voted against Min's. All right. Um, actually, I lied. No, because Pirates faced Saturdays, and Saturdays was an easy win. Yeah. And so now we're in our final br- final two. The top tang. Figuring this it out. Top tangs. But who's going to be the top? This is for all the apples. And nice. It is that's Saturdays good. versus Blimps. Right. And that's a good matchup. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I have been really into the matchup. I have been pegged. Uh, maybe unfairly so as an anti blimp advocate, this whole podcast. <laughs> um, and certainly this is a big matchup. Mm. I, I Saturdays is a contender, but is there anywhere you would rather spend your Saturday than on a blimp? I, d- you argued against <laughs> blimps the I first mean, round, but if you, you think- said you wouldn't want to be on one, <laughs> but if but I could be sad. anywhere, you on a said Saturday, it would be. <laughs> Can I paint a picture? Sure. Would you allow me to paint a picture? Sure. <laughs> in the first round, you said being in a blimp is like being in an office building. Let me. Let and me now paint a you're picture. saying it's the best place to spend. To a be Saturday. fair, let me paint a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Such a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> you love your life. Yeah. You. You it's know. A- you're in the greatest country on earth. You know, you feel your voice is represented, higher good, social mobility. You know, you're having a great time. This is the greatest time to live in the greatest country on earth. And you get to the best day of the week in the best moment in Mm. the best country ever. And you know where you're going. The best form of transportation. No. You're going to you the You argued for it's planes <laughs> in round <laughs> you one. You can't say so, that. So... Um, I feel not, like I have to give it to blimp at blimps. this point. It's not blimps. Let me blimps are cool this. and they make me happy when I think of them. But Saturdays, they increase. What? Let me ask you this: My question. happiness every single week. If you could be, if you could be in a blimp for a for a day, or maybe let's say an hour, and you had to let's give say up, five minutes. Sure, and you had a five minutes. That's fine. Yeah, and you had to give up your right 
to enjoy a Saturday. Like, it just was Friday, then Sunday. And all you had to do was give up one Saturday to be in this blimp for five minutes. <laughs> would you or would you not do that, Zach? Would the blimp be in the sky? <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know. Maybe and you... I'd have to give up one Saturday of a lifetime of Saturdays? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I'd do it. <laughs> Absolutely, you would. I would yeah, do it. you would. But, you would. We but, got him. Would you, this anti-blimp <laughs> hater. Would you give up every Saturday of your entire life to always be able to go in a blimp whenever you want. Oh. Oh, whenever I want? Oh, my God. Do I have to pay for the gas? <laughs> That's for the helium, Mark. For the helium? The helium. <laughs> Every Saturday's gone. The do helium I, rates you are Do I pay insurance on the blimp? Right. That's no, a great no. Pay. It's you, like a you free can blimp. You go in a blimp, yeah. I just own it. Well, you know, you can't sell it or anything. It's just like, you, I know. If you want to go in mine. a blimp, I you don't can have to go pay in for it. it. No. You have to give up every Saturday for the rest of your life. Mm. Can every I, Saturday. Can I become, The days are six days. The weeks are six days long. Can I become, um, like, can, but this, can this be my new profession? No, I'm there's like a nothing. No, pilot? no, you just can go in it. You don't make any money. You can just go in the blimp when you want. But when you go in the blimp, like, your life keeps going. So you can't just go and then, like... You can't go during work. And In then, that like, occasion, I wouldn't give up all my Saturdays for a blimp. Yeah, same. I make the majority of our money here on on Saturdays, so. But yeah. it is a blimp. You're mm. chained. It is. You're playing a character. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> it's fully inflated. I'm cruising at. 10 knots. Yeah, I don't know what that measurement is. And I'm sipping on Corona with the boys. You got to go blimps. Every, you're giving up every single Saturday of your whole life to be able to go in a blimp. Cody, you're voting for blimps. Can I you're alternate? You're voting for Saturdays, right? I'm Because what I want is I, I just want to decide it, and then I want to ask Mark this question. Can I alternate <laughs> weekends? <laughs> no, you lose I have, every I have the Saturday. Blimp on some Saturdays, no, and the next Saturday I get my Saturday. It's not your child after a divorce. <laughs> it's you don't get a Saturday. You don't get a Saturday ever for the rest of your life, and you can go in a blimp when you want. It's just there for what you. What about Sundays? Yeah, you have them. That yeah. No, but can sure. I trade my Sundays? No, for the blimp? you can't. Not no. Only s- Saturdays go away. That's it. It's a compelling argument. I vote I'm for Saturday. Okay. <laughs> I vote for Saturdays for Top Tang. Because it is it makes people's lives better every day, every week. What would you pick, Mark? He's You're a hard blimper. <laughs> yeah. At this point I feel what did locked he, into the blimp. What was blimp going what was blimp against in the in round one? Um, previously it was blimps versus poncheros. He and, voted for poncheros. And you convinced me of the blimp. I'm, I I'm, yeah. I'm knee deep in blimp at this point. You are knee deep. I think in it's blimp. fair to be able to change. Okay. Yeah. Some thoughts. People, no, I, I'm not saying it's people not fair. People can change. I'm just and saying. I think I'm, I'm getting a little afraid that <laughs> Zach doesn't <laughs> think people can change. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cody, we need your vote, oh, man. Oh my God. We got to wrap this one up. I think. I think I, I have to just go with blimps. Unbelievable. <laughs> just, Why? There's so How? much more interesting. The thing about blimps, I've never seen one in person. <laughs> There's 25 of them in the world, Zach. Yeah, how many Saturdays have you how experienced? Many? That's kind of my You literally lot. experience a Saturday every week. Yeah. And, it's, and it's nothing. And a Sunday is almost like a Saturday. It is like a 70% plane is not of a almost like a blimp. I think a plane is very much different than a blimp. I think it's blimp two different its species. Realm. Have uh, you ever... Two different what, universes. When was the last time you thought about a blimp until we brought it and up honestly, on this podcast? You brought it up on this you podcast it and it... And, and it changed... And it might change I, my life. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I honestly, I haven't stopped thinking about the blimp since he brought it up. <laughs> this podcast is a blur. I've just been thinking about the blimp the whole time. <laughs> Who was right. the blimp up against in round two? Um, the woman you find out is Mark a argued so fiercely against the blimp <laughs> for that one. I voted for the blimp that round. Come on. Okay, so blimp Blimps wins is, our is, top yeah, is the top tang. It's the top tang, and you should be happier about it. Oh, okay, have a little man. Wow, what a joy in your what voice. What a first round. Well, I think, I mean, 
what else do we need to say? We Nothing. have a top tang. We have a blimp as our top tang and a mittens as our apple. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm not. I'm <laughs> over the moon. And if you agree that the blimp is the top tang and you agree that the freaking mittens are the apple gobbler, uh, subscribe to the podcast. We're give us a like. I don't know what socials we're on. But engage with zero us somehow. subscriptions <laughs> off of that. And if you metric. disagree, if you disagree, I want you to never listen to us. Again. Yeah, go bad. <laughs> and bad I want move. you to tell people to not listen to us because you disagree. Bad move. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank Later. You. There's a lot of uncertainty in this pod, but one thing's for sure the real top tang is you. So thanks for being here. And we hope to see you next time. Now, go tell your friends about us and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Keep swinging, Tang Nation.